In the case of Yahoo, you're talking about a stock that's had a very impressive run over the last 12 months. As you highlighted, Marissa Meyer joined the company shortly after last year's annual meeting. And over that stretch, these shares have risen more than 50%. And there are a lot of things that Marissa Meyer has done uh, behind the scenes, especially to change the culture there, whether it's bringing something like Google-like free food or bringing in young talent, especially through acquisitions. You think of their purchase of Sumley and then the big purchase of Tumblr more recently, and bringing out new products, uh, a new Yahoo weather app, changes to Yahoo Mail, changes to the Yahoo homepage, but at the same time, a big chunk of the stock valuation story is tied to their stake in Alibaba, and that predates Marissa Meyer. And if you look at the expectations on the sales side, there's a possibility the revenue may actually be lower this fiscal year than it was last year. And, and that's been sort of the bigger issue for Yahoo is in an ever-changing world of advertising and display advertising rates, where does Yahoo stand? And that's still a big task for this company for sure. Uh, and Yahoo has yet to decide on a permanent chairman. So is that going to come up, John? It's very possible. You would expect that maybe some shareholders would ask questions about that. I've reported in the past that Maynard Webb, who is carrying the interim chairman title, wants it to be interim because he wasn't convinced that he wanted to do this for a long time. He's got a lot of other things on his plate. He does have a very good relationship with Marissa Meyer. And, you know, from the people I've spoken to who are close to the matter, you get the sense that they want a partner for Marissa Meyer so that she can actually focus on continuing to do the stuff she's doing as opposed to maybe all the board duties that go into that chair role. And so maybe they find somebody who isn't necessarily from the technology world but has a lot of experience in the boardroom. We'll see if they have more to say about that at the annual meeting where most of these directors are expected to be uh, uh, get the thumbs up from the shareholders overall.